Mm -hmm. Well, good morning, everybody. How's it going today? Well, good morning, everybody. How's it going today? All right, good. Well, good morning, Sound everybody. test is good. Today we're going to be starting a Let's Play of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, a rehydrated edition. I've never played the game before, uh, so this remastered version of it is going to be my first experience, my first foray into this game. Way well, hey there, original name. Hey there, Yowza. Good, good. I'm fantastic. Thank you for asking. All right, got our got our setup. So, let's start this adventure. It's definitely a big mood shift from the last game we played. Oh, we just finished up The Last of Us 2 yesterday. I'm kind of ready for a, <laughs> a uh, more chipper kind of game. We, in fact, played both of The Last of Us back to back. Ooh, good games, but man, they definitely temper their happy moments with, <laughs> with heartache. So this will be uh this will be kind of a welcome repri reprieve. Nickelodeon. Are you ready, kids? Yeah! Aye aye, Captain. I can't hear you. Aye aye, Captain! Nonsense is something you wish. Drop on the deck and flop like a fish! Alright. <laughs> Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Doodly 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 do. Doodly doodly do. Do do. <sighs> Loading. Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command! In my command! One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one is Plankton a genius? Answer yes! Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch! <laughs> Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on. I want to get a photo for my scrap. Whoop. Hey, hello? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Uh-oh. He had the don't oh, obey no, switch turned on. No, off. no, wait. Wait. But I'm your master. I made you. No, no. Oh, my good China. Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. <laughs> yeah, only as you I do. Keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Junior or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. <laughs> yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you! Oh. <laughs> It's not just any shell. Hey, it's bad woman. My magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But, Patrick. Aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did! 
So, okay, is the magic wishing word? <laughs> it used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tiki Tana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Vita Schnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. What? Are you sure this will work? <laughs> sure. Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb, and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell. Then I said the magic wishing word and shook it. And in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning... <laughs> Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Whoa! Uh, Gary, did you do Your that? Your bottom stinks! <laughs> hey, Queen, welcome. Now you're always welcome to go back and rewatch the, uh, uh, videos we recorded. Uh, they're also up on our gaming channel Yeah, Gary, channel it sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. <laughs> yeah, you didn't, uh, finish that dialogue, uh, <laughs> game. Meow. Meow. What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out. Oh, that's a bummer. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully you got it working, though. Um, how do I read the signs? Meow. Oh, okay. Press this button to read the signs. Meow. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. Explore the kitchen. Explore the bedroom. Explore the attic. Explore the closet. All right, let's do that. I'm gonna talk to Gary. Meow. Meow. Give me some credit, Gary. I remember. Press this button to read the signs. Hmm. <laughs> All right. You need more golden spatulas to open this door. Breaking news! Bikini Bottom residents have been attacked by a raging torrent of robot horror! So much for fixing this quietly. <laughs> Authorities are not sure who is responsible for unleashing the mechanical menaces, but they have assured us that the person is in big, big trouble! Alright. Uh-oh. Did I say big trouble? I meant so enormous that it's hard to comprehend trouble! We'll keep you posted as this tragic story unfolds. Tragically, we're sure. You know, I, I don't, I don't really mind the uh, having to like click to keep up with the dialogue. I think it works a little bit better than the uh, than like having to uh, having to have the voice actors pause after every like little bit of text scroll. But at that point, why not just? like have have it follow what have the text follow what the characters are saying rather than having to have you push a to continue reading it's, it's kind of a weird system all right you need more shiny objects to go to this area oh cool new kitty cat shiny objects these are shiny objects. Shiny objects are very valuable and may be traded to help SpongeBob along his quest. All right, so we jump today. All right. <laughs> Kelpo. Mmm. Good old Kelpo cereal. SpongeBob may see how well he's doing by pressing ZR. The number in the upper right is how many shiny objects SpongeBob has. The number in the upper center is how many golden spatulas he has collected. The number in the lower right is how many of Patrick's lost socks SpongeBob has found. And finally, the number in the upper left is how many pairs of underwear SpongeBob has. Gotta have those undies. Too pretty. Can't take it. 
right, there we go. So I guess different colors of shiny objects are worth different amounts. Pay 10 shiny objects to get into this area. Undies! This is a pair of SpongeBob's underwear. SpongeBob will lose a pair of underwear every time he gets hit by a robot or touches dangerous objects or surfaces. Like this! <laughs> Once SpongeBob has lost all of his underwear, he must start back at that area. SpongeBob may get back underwear he's, he's lost by collecting additional pairs along the way. SpongeBob starts out wearing three pairs of underwear, but there are special pairs of golden underwear hidden in bik Bikini Bottom, which if found will allow SpongeBob to wear more than three pairs at a time. SpongeBob can check how many pairs of underwear he, he has on by pressing ZR. Fresh like a spring breeze. Under ruse. Oh, okay. So Y gives me bubbles. And then X gives me like a super jellyfish bubble jump. B doesn't do anything yet. Jelly. Right. SpongeBob may jump by pressing A. Pressing A while SpongeBob is in mid-jump will cause him to double jump for extra height. But he can only double jump once per jump. All right. Can't double jump and then use the jellyfish move. It's interesting that that exists, but it doesn't let you like move horizontally or anything. You don't really have any air control when you do that jellyfish jump. I think it's like an attack versus a useful platforming maneuver. This is where I keep all my old comic books. <laughs> <laughs> His holes are huge. Excuse me? <laughs> to see how well SpongeBob is doing in every level of the game, press the directional pad. When paused, move uh, the left toggle to select a level. When a level is selected, press the A button to view its details. When the details, uh, when the details view is open, move the left toggle right or left to get a hint on each of each golden spatula that SpongeBob knows about. By pressing A when the hint uh, for a golden spatula is selected, SpongeBob can take a taxi directly to the area of that spatula from anywhere in the game. Okay. Tutorials. Yay, I figured it out. Alright, let's do that. Yay! Minis. Keep all my old comic books. Ooh, there's a switch over there. This is quite the library. Library. Oh yeah. Oh no! Unless they give you the actual number of seconds on the uh, countdown timer. That's nice. Hold on. Don't fight me, camera, please. Hey, you! Patrick hey. needs to do laundry. I got a Patrick sock. Right, what's, what's this hint? Oh, hold on. Wow. Okay. Press B in midair, and SpongeBob will do a bubble bounce attack. The bubble bounce attack can smash tiki's or robots that are directly below SpongeBob or push buttons on the ground. <laughs> SpongeBob may only do the bubble bounce attack move in midair. Okay. So it's a ground pound. Hooray. Bubble bounce. Woohoo! Alright, tiki's. Chinese from tiki's. And this would probably just explain switches. Press Y and SpongeBob will do a bubble spin. SpongeBob may use the bubble spin to smash open tiki's or push uh, buttons on walls or to defeat most robots. He may also bubble spin in mid jump to hit things that are higher up. Let's do this. Wow. 
combo. Oh, sparkly! I love opening presents. Sparkly? All right, I think we cleared it. Yay! Do do do. Can I open this? This is a golden spatula. Golden spatulas are needed to unlock new areas of Bikini bo Bottom. SpongeBob will need to collect many golden spatulas in order to find and defeat the source of the rampaging robots. Look at all my variable codes. I'm set for life. Well, hello, everyone. Hello, Dr. Metal Warrior. What an exciting loading screen. <laughs> you think they would have added something? No, nope. we just get foggy darkness. Ah, there's nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Nice frame rate switch. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. They even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them before they bend all my forks? <laughs> Not the forks. Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you could get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas in your dreams. You've got a deal. Yeah, like uh, the last couple games I played were uh, very heavy, so it's cool. Like, not not a whole lot of people ended up showing up. Uh, but yeah, totally. Like the the Last of Us is not for everyone so totally understandable why a lot of people got ducked out for the last two weeks hey! bubble buddy. oh gosh i clicked too fast <laughs> just bubble buddy you see you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man but uh all i need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little force. too long. Uh, where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves. Right! Press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you. Try it out! I don't know why they have me clicking the, di like the dialogue button while they're talking. Yeah, that's such a weird system. I don't think I'm actually a fan. I wonder if there's a way to change that. Play. Probably isn't. Welcome back. It is. Oh, Bubble Buddy, such an underrated episode. Yeah, it, it's totally fine. I I was very much marathoning both of those games, like five-hour streams. Ah! Ultra combo. Yeah, I did something. Monkey Man. I have no idea. I am 
Oh, Mr. Krabs. SpongeBob, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. That's not No even... money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. Could they not get Mr. Krabs' actor to be in this game? That doesn't... <laughs> That's not Mr. Krabs. I'm not even... I'm not even that familiar... Like, all, all Spongebob that I've seen is, like, episodes from, like, the first and maybe second season. I didn't, uh, it wasn't really a show I kept up with, but I know that's not Mr. Krabs. <laughs> uh, he actually refused to do it because they wouldn't pay him enough. Well, that sounds in character. <laughs> no more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm going to help you out. And of course, make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. It's so obvious. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he sounds like a teenager doing a bad old man impression. <laughs> he totally does. Well, that's fun. Reminder to activate this button, press X. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. I'm not asking for much. Just hold the money. All right. How do I get up there? I have no idea. Figure it out. Reminder. Yep, we got to do the butt bounce. Whoop! Oh, all right. All right. Cool. Well, that's how we do it. I love opening presents. It shines. Don't leave me. Yeah, I like his idle animation. He's just having a good old time. Now I can yeah. wear four pairs of underwear. Dude, I feel like a new sponge. And a special. <laughs> no, like they, they, the person doing Mr. Krabs is fine. It just doesn't sound like Mr. Krabs. Not doing a bad job or anything, they're just not the person <laughs> who I expected to hear. Especially when everyone else seems to be voiced by the by the actual original actors. Why were why'd you get greedy, Mr. Krabs voice actor? Because that's just who I am. <laughs> if I'm gonna get in character, I have to do it all the way. All right, what can I... Can Don't I forget, to defeat robots or tiggies that are directly above you, press this button. Press this button. What is with the... I guess these yeah, robots are shooting these missiles. Hey, Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. It's suddenly there. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through Ow. here and stole my Ow. whole sock collection. Ow. I could use Ow. some help getting Ow. them back. Ow. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. I know. What is Another with this camera? Patrick. You'd think with a rehydrated edition, they would, you know, make some slight adjustments. It's so far, it just seems like it's a very nice-looking reskin of the original game. But yeah, I don't think they changed much else. All right, ten spatulas. Oh, I can sneak. <laughs> Great. All right. Uh, which way can I go? Not that way. Not to. Oh no. That must be Davy Jones. 
Taxi. Taxi. <laughs> it's a little glitchy. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll be looking forward to the glitchiness then. Ah, the rolling green hills of Jellyfish Fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy and, oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j j jellyfish Well, I guess you're off to scale Sport Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. Ha <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. I don't I don't really have a favorite SpongeBob episode because I haven't seen enough of this show to uh to really know it that well. I've only seen like episodes from the first and second season, I think. So it, it wasn't one I like watched all the way through. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself! Wonderful. It shines! Combo! The chum bucket. Do -do 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 -do. Like I know enough about the show. I've seen enough of the show to like be familiar with the world, but I I couldn't tell you who all the like all the not main cast characters are. Oh yeah, <laughs> Tom Kenny's a treasure. He certainly is. <laughs> This is goo! SpongeBob and Patrick can't swim, so don't let them fall in the goo! Ooh, a sock. This is a teleporter box. When you have both the teleporter boxes in the area open, you may teleport between them by jumping inside. Cool. Open says me! We can't jellyfish today. I'm going fishing for robots. No, we can't swim in the goo. Fresh like a spring breeze. I love opening presents. I feel like a new sponge. Super duper undies, yeah. So are the golden undies a permanent health upgrade, or are they only temporary? Goo, 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 goo. Don't fall in the goo. What did you do? Did you fall in that goo? Didn't really hurt him. Just kind of jumped out. What about this goo? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Flat lines. It's immediate death. Whoops. I thought it might be like a, uh, I thought it might be like a, I don't know, like one undie. 
<laughs> yeah, it was just immediate. Sorry, Bob. Well, now I know. Hey, silver lining is we get that yellow shiny now. See, if they wanted me not to jump in there, they they had to say it's instant death. Not it will. It was vague. Gotta try the waters. Yeah, the uh, those containers mixed with water and colored goo. Like, I'm, I'm not sure what you mean, but I I remember those, like, kind of tubular things you get at aquariums. Those are filled with water and, like, little plastic toys and stuff. Take that! Options. We go to the audio. Dialogue. I'm going to turn those down because I like the music, so I want to kind of have it up higher. And that means I'm going to have to turn up the game volume a little bit. There we go. Should be good. There we go. I'll have to come through a bit louder. Nine, or is it even more? Ooh, secret tiki. Super Mega Ultra Monster Super Monster Combo. <laughs> Boy, yes. Patrick will be glad to have this back. Okay, so. Well, that's not goo. That's water, right? No, it's goo. Whoops. Because there was, <laughs> there was that other little pool with a waterfall that was letting me like jump into it. Then he would jump out. The other goo in the water didn't have waterfalls, so I thought it was the same. I thought it was not the instant death goo. Whoops. Oh well, puts us right here. That's something. It's not something I need. It's something. Just my size. defeated after activating a checkpoint, you will restart at the checkpoint instead of at the beginning of the area. Or apparently in, like, that cave was kind of a secret checkpoint. Eventually, this will get some kind of skill to be able to collect those, but we don't have it now. I guess air airplanes can be underwater. <laughs> yeah, the water waterfall is pretty. Wow! Ah. Double back. There 
go. What's that? Something. Tar. I don't know. Must. What? It's not mustard. No. No idea. Looks like a condiment, though. This is a freezy fruit. Only Patrick can use the freezy fruit. Okay. I love opening presents. Gotcha. That makes sense. Seems fishy to me. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. <laughs> the goo might be dynamic liquid. It could be. I mean, one of the one of the theories about the world of SpongeBob is that. It uh, was the nuclear test site of Bikini Atoll. So, like, yeah, could be, could be all kinds of nuclear and strange wastes in this area. Another find for Patrick. SpongeBob can bungee from it. To bungee from the bungee hook, just jump up and touch it. To dive downward, press A. To exit the bungee hook, press B. Just met the Sponginator. No, no, Robo. Oh no! They're smashing fish. <laughs> With your ham hammer? <laughs> Hello, can we talk? No. 
Oh, I'm sorry. out of bounds that can happen <laughs> let me just place you back here <laughs> is that his name Hans Hans the hands great <laughs> Hans the hand oh he's clapping now good Oh no! SpongeBob needs to know the bubble bowling move in order to play this game. Don't hit it. that ham. Huffing and puffing over there is the Duplicatotron. Duplicatotron 1000. The D1000 will continue to create robots until it's destroyed. Be careful though, it goes out with a bang. Oh, sparkly! Oh, I run! Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Oh, okay, gotcha. This is like a just stop point. There we go. Do 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 do. Wow, Mermaid Man! I have all your comics and toys and mail. Hey, huh? W what? Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid. And now, what was I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, no. 
I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! <laughs> massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! Yeah, it doesn't sound like Mermaid Man either. <laughs> This is a slide. When SpongeBob, Patrick, or Sandy jump onto a slide, they'll zip down the slope at hydrodynamic speeds. get Patrick to help him, but he's unreachable. Maybe these switches will create a way. The robots are guarding him heavily. You have to battle through. Like a new sponge. Underwear? Under there. I love the love sponge opening presents. The one with Antonio Banderas. It's, it's hilarious. Hey, Rignar, welcome! We're rehydrating. Yeah. Hey, SpongeBob! Uh, the over there and underwear, like in Super, Mar Super Paper Mario. The show. Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robots and the... Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Okay. Yay, Patrick. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Yeah, he was in, uh, you know, uh, the Sponge Out of Water movie. He was the pirate. This is a throw fruit. Patrick can pick up throw fruit and throw them. Press the B button to pick up nearby throw fruit and then press it again to throw. Throw fruit can push buttons, destroy tiki's, and damage robots. But use it quickly because a throw fruit wilts after a few seconds. You sure gotta carry a lot of stuff around. Ooh, wooden presents. Patrick can also pick up and throw tiki's, but only tiki's that don't have their tiki's stacked up on them. 
stack on top of them. That fruit! This is a bus stop. You may switch between playing SpongeBob or playing Patrick anytime at a bus stop. Okay. Patrick can throw fruit up steps, then climb up the steps, pick up the fruit, and throw it again. Body better hurry before it wilts. zoom into Patrick's face and watch his idle animation. All right. What are you going to do, Patrick? Oh, okay. <laughs> Wonderful. This is a thunder tiki. When Patrick touches it, it'll begin to storm after a few seconds and will go boom. After a few seconds, it'll go boom. Don't be near it when it goes boom. That's good advice. Oh! There you go. Hey, you barnacle head! Watch where you're going! The rock is talking to me. Almighty rock, I am at your command! Down here, you big pink lummox! Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat oh. the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knockoff wallets. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the purple fish, he dabs after a while. All right. There we go. Yeah, he's dabbing. All right, I'm going to try to let Patrick do his other face. Apparently, he does <laughs> that one. <laughs> Fantastic. The meme face. Patrick can pick up thunder. Okay. Yeah, we already did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to pick up the tartar sauce. Feels better. That's much better. <laughs> That's much better. Ow, oh, cork! Oh no! 
lại Pretty sparkly thingy Where is a whistle? Ooh, a present in every one! I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Patrick can also jump on throw fruit to get up to higher places. He may stack throw fruit as well by throwing a throw fruit on top of another throw fruit. This will allow him to get even to even higher places. Fruit. Patrick can pick up Freezy Fruit and throw it. Freezy Fruit will temporarily freeze goo. Patrick can slide on frozen goo until it thaws. Oh, I missed. belly flops near robots, he can damage or stun them. Small robots will simply be defeated by Patrick's belly flop. Larger ones will be stunned for a short period of time. Ooh, again! Again! Where is a whistle? Ouch! I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. better way. Should probably read this sign. It probably has a hint. Patrick may even pick up robots he has stunned and throw them into other robots. Well, like, I'm not stunning them. 
killing him. This is not a stun. That's much better. Oh, oh that's not good. Cool. I wouldn't consider this a okay, there Sometimes it's a butt bounce. It's a butt bounce. Okay, now I understand. Now I get it. There. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Good. Squidward tells Goodbye. me you're looking for the king jellyfish. Yes. Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor. Yeah, yeah, the best assumption uh, is that nobody's played this game, I guess. That way, it's easier to be spoiler free. Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. Just as a general rule for games. Okay. Okay, that would just take me back. It's fine. SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. <laughs> Wait, is a whistle. That's much better. Hello, Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh, boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Show sure enough, Mrs. Puff. Yeah, those anchovies look like beaker. Bus stop. There we go. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> robot go boom! Ouch! All right. I'll take it. Cool. So I guess that was a bit of a shortcut. This is Pop One. Did you get the golden spatula back from the room? Oh, um. Much better. Wait, is a whistle. All right, where's that? Button? One more robot.
I'm doing the right thing here, but... Something. Oops. Ouch! Ooh! Ah, yeah. my back feels better. Ouch! Ah, no. I'll be way closer than that to do the to stun them and not kill them. Do 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 do. Let's try that again. At least it doesn't make me kill all those. Whatever it is. So shiny! Okay, cool. Yeah! <laughs> What's with the flat line noises? That's so dark. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! <laughs> yeah, the, t the question is just like, why? Why is that the way it is? This is shh, Tiki. SpongeBob will have to sneak up on it in order to destroy it. Oh, that, that, that's how it works. To sneak, gotta hold the ZL button and walk. Patrick may throw things at it from a distance. Okay. SpongeBob. Opening presents. Oh, thank you. Cool, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Okay, I thought for such a, um, for such a, you know, it, it's a silly show, but that song, you know, was very sincere. It's, Sia brought her A game for that, uh, that song. Oh no, I did it again. I did the exact same thing again. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <sighs> oh, thank you. <sighs> Never actually worn one, but they seem comfortable. I was actually looking at the other day. Aladdin-looking trousers, just for lounge, loungy days. Take that! Fresh like a spring breeze. Sweet. I'd love to have a pair of uh, Akuma's pants, like uh, Terra from. Uh, well, was it, uh, was it Birth by Sleep, the Kingdom Hearts game on the PSP? His awesome, like, samurai pants. <laughs> I've never been able to find anything like that, though. Not in that exact style. It's like a skirt, but pants. 
SpongeBob should come here later when he knows the cr uh, cruise bubble move. Feel like a new sponge. Oh, that's not nice. Neato. Uh. Pretty cat, take it. Fresh like a spring breeze. Spin after doing a double jump, get a little bit more distance. Just my side. Yeah, you get a little bit more airtime. That's awesome. Cool. I feel like a new sponge. Back to here. Like a spring breeze. Boop. Hey, you. Patrick needs to do laundry. Ah! Thanks. Thanks, Hans. against wearing a skirt. It's just not traditionally my style. But they seem very comfy. Never really been into kilts, though, personally. I don't know. Uh, they, they are cool, but I, for me, they just seem heavy. <laughs> like, I, if, I, if I was wearing something that open, I'd want it to be, like, light and breezy. But kilts seem like they're, like, very heavy. You just met the Spongeinator. Ah! Dang it. He just run through. His hanging around in that spot is not doing any, any favors. Stay, you right? <laughs> Stay hydrated. <laughs> no. He <laughs> keep. And then the Spongeinator drowns. Sponginator flatline immediately. 
But at least you don't have to recollect things like, you know, socks and uh, anything after you get them. So that's nice. Yay! Tartar sauce! The horror! Tartar sauce! Let's go get that sock. Sockety, 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 sock. Another fine for Patrick! You lose these socks in the oddest of places, Patrick. My middle name is Patrick. It's true. It's a very, it's a very big seesaw. It shines, Hammer. I get it. Ouch. I feel like a new sponge. <laughs> now, let's see if we can seesaw this up that way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See a bus stop over there, too, if we need it. Patrick. Yes. Fork. Okay. Fresh like a spring breeze. I am confused. Alright. Wonder if Patrick. <laughs> Let's go, Patty. Hard as a rock. Ooh, a present in every one. How many of these do I have to carry? SpongeBob can jump on walls. Then this, uh, when this symbol appears, jump against the side of the wall. Press A to jump again. All right. there that king jellyfish is just up at the top of this path good luck you'll need it thanks bubble buddy thanks bubble buddy i feel like a new sponge <laughs> yeah tad fish right in the camera I knew the King Jellyfish was big, but who knew he had such a beautiful voice? <laughs> Slap him! Come on. Yeah. There's one. There's one. 
Slap him again. Fresh like a spring breeze. Take that! Take care of your spawn. Jump sooner. There we go. That pair of undies. Get that pair of undies. I feel like a new sponge. Heavy blue. Died. Stuck. I don't know. He was just minding his own business. Why is this necessary? Yeah, we didn't do do nothing. Well, he didn't do nothing to us. Are you sure that you're ready to tackle? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am ready to tackle the jellyfish. This time. I know. Once. Why? Did nothing. Because we need this. SpongeBob is impatient. <laughs> He'd rather go mug a giant jellyfish. Jellyfish is giving birth. I forget. I, I think jellyfish might be like. Uh, are they asexual? I, I don't know if they have like male, female for jellyfish. I think they just spawn. I'm not. I'm not sure. About that. <laughs> There you go, I get you. I'm off for business. That was a good fight, SpongeBob. Fresh like a spring breeze. <laughs> he was going to do business. <laughs> do, 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 look at that. Look at that shower stopping at that point. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. Oh, hello, SpongeBob. Hey there! It, it looks like you'll have to make, make a like huge jump at the end of that ramp in order to reach that golden spatula, huh? Cowabunga! Wow, that's a mighty big leap. I hope I can make it. All right, fun. Exit. Exit yet. Maybe we have to go to the exit to get to the exit. There we go. Yeah, there's a ramp there. Neat. Woo! Oh no! Oh yeah. <laughs> Ultra tricks. Do that again. Oh look, there's secret. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Hans. Oh! Can't talk now. Alright. 
What are you doing, game? Why are you setting me right there? All right, I'll pay attention this time. Someone was trying to call me, and I had to. <laughs> Odd place to set me down. Oh yeah. Oh. What? The sock Patrick will be glad to have this back. <laughs> How dare you have a social life outside of Twitch? <laughs> You're here for our entertainment only. And welcome, Jen. Welcome. Schwelcome. Okay. Sweet. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so much better. How much better? Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Um, what if I just gave you this? Thanks. Squidward. Alright, that's ten. Taxi! <laughs> Lovely, thank you. How's your day going? Spongy. Sponge bee. Don't forget to defeat robots or tiggies that are direct. Have some socks, Patrick. Did you find my lost socks? Not yet, Patrick. Oh. Ten of dims. Did they find you? Yet. Okay, let's go this way. Plankton. Downtown Bikini Bottom, once a bustling metropolis, now a debris-covered crater. SpongeBob, the robots are destroying downtown Bikini Bottom. We have to evacuate. All right, but it's gonna take a while to get all this dust. Not vacuum, evacuate. We have to get everyone to safety. Can we just load them up in the boats? That won't do any good. Why not? Because the robots have taken all the steering wheels. Couldn't we just drive in a straight line? No, there are too many turns. Those fiends, they thought of everything. Never fear, Mrs. Puff, I'll get those steering wheels back. SpongeBob, if you're involved, I always fear. But I tell you what, if you can pull this off, I'll give you a golden spatula. Ooh. How about a driver's license instead? Nice try. Apparently this is a really good place to farm. Shiny thing. When SpongeBob touches this ball, it'll change into a sponge ball. He will change into a sponge ball. You can roll quickly as the sponge ball, but you can't do anything else. Being hurt or pressing any button will change you back to your normal self. All right. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, push. Oh.
Gary doesn't like that. Oh, I'm not a SpongeBob anymore. Oh, okay. So if I press a button, if I press my attack button, that happens. A new sponge. Don't worry, sir. I'll thwart the bad guys. <laughs> I love opening presents. <laughs> Why are all the best SpongeBob works about the apocalypse? Just met the Spongeinator. Oh no! Ouch. Right into the ketchup or the hot sauce. kitchen sink at me. There you go. Oh, thank you. Alright. Ouch! Ouch! Fresh like a spring breeze. So, if you ever need to farm here, there's a power-up to get later in the game, and you can just shoot them at these towers, then leave and come back in the towers to respawn. Alright. I feel like a new sponge! Oh boy! Patrick needs to do laundry. Ow!
he was just hanging on the ground. Like when you try to go out of bounds, he's doing that. He does that. No! No, oh, no, I'm not. I'm not ready. <laughs> Please don't make me go out of bounds. All right. Ball roll, 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 roll the sponge. What do you uh, want me to do, though? Oh, there's this. It. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Nice push, now. push, push, push. Yes. Flash like a spring breeze. I just totally forgot about that button. That's what it was. I feel like a new sponge. Flash like a spring breeze. A spring breeze. Huh? Bringing it. Around town. How are these sequence of events happening? Whoops. Press a button and suddenly an anvil falls or a boat falls out of the not sky. Over the water. Alright, let's try this again. Roll, no jumping. Oh, neat. that fish boy alone. Oh, sparkly! Socks. Any socks? No socks. No socks. Well, Sponge... Take that! Oh, SpongeBob's a kid, but, like, he's old enough to hold down a job. see his date of birth somewhere in the show. Does it also show what date the show is in? Is, is it supposed to be present day or is it in that? Ah! Like, well, I guess it's in present day because the movies certainly are. Some facsimile of present day. Yeah, that's what I would guess. He's probably I feel like, like a new sponge. You know, like 16 to 18. I, I wouldn't even be, I wouldn't be surprised if he was even like in his early 20s. This door is license, locked from the inside. It. Who would do such, such a thing? Who would do such a thing? Like at the very the fir first episode is him trying to get his driver's license, and if it's if we're going by like animated show logic where time doesn't actually pass and no one actually and no one ever ages, then yeah, he's probably 16 forever. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I, again, I didn't see the original movie. The whole point of the movie is that he's a kid. All right, then. I saw the Sponge, Sponge Out of Water movie, but I didn't see the original one. Yeah, and kid is a uh, kind of variable term. Like, adults will say kid when they mean, like, young adult or teenager. Like, 16, kid, that kind of thing. Whereas a 16-year-old would be like, dude, I'm able to drive. Like, I think I'm not quite a kid. I love opening presents. But again, you know, my my knowledge of the show is very limited, so I can't. Uh, Fresh can't like a spring breeze. Kind of I don't know. Yeah, at least old enough to have a job and another license. fine for Patrick. Ugh.
Yeah, from, yep. We're gonna have to go over that mess to get it. We got a clam. Oyster. Clam. Hooray! Just my size! I have been working out. Meow. Not done? Doesn't that mean... Meow. Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops which leads to the lighthouse? Aha! Uh -huh. There's another golden spatula! I could really use that. Meow. What do you mean get Sandy to help me? Meow. Meow. Oh, that gap looks big. Okay, I'm definitely not making that jump. How is anyone going to get across there? Uh-oh, more robots. Holy Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible! And impassable! Okay, okay, I'll go get Sandy to help me out. Meow. Awesome. Don't have to roll through anymore. Uh, did she just show up? Oh, awesome. We didn't have to, like, recruit her or anything. Sweet. Yay! Dumb old Texas. Texas is a smart place. At least parts of it. I mean, NASA's located there, right? Some of the smartest people live in Texas. Jump on top of these steps. Sandy can glide across the gap to the next rooftop by double jumping and holding A afterwards. <laughs> Texas is full of Alex's. Everywhere, Alex. Intelligent and not so intelligent people. It's not based on location. So there we go. There we go. Also, they have a fantastic barbecue. Oh, man. Yes. It's over this way. That's some of the best. The, the, some, some of the best creamed corn I've ever had in Texas. Yeah, like we went to a really cool barbecue joint, and uh, of all the things, like it was all good food, but of all the things, the cream corn blew me away. <laughs> this is really good. Apparently, the secret to good creamed corn is that the, the cream sauce needs to be really thick. It was, oh, it was super thick, and it's like, this is the best I've ever had. <laughs> it's not even something I go after often, creamed corn. But I saw it there, and I had a hankering. So, 
Yeah, I agree. Like, it's kind of weird. At, like, Sandy just entered the story out of nowhere without any introduction. It would have been nice. I wonder if they ran out of time. Someone better make good use of all these. Because, yeah, a lot of this game feels rough. Like they had to hit a deadline. Bam! Yeah, would have liked an intro for Just suddenly you can pick her up the last time. Lass Lassie can sando the object. Sandy can lasso the object by pressing B. Come on, Lassie, let's sando these objects. Sandy can swing from swing hook from a swing hook by pressing B. to limit your understanding of a place just by the, like, negative that comes out of a place. Some things are stereotypes. Some things are just <laughs> bad players making the loudest noise. There are fantastic people everywhere. And there are not so nice people everywhere, too. Oh, that's cool. And she does karate chops and kicks. You're like the funnest character, Sandy. Lasso. Popular opinion. Barbecue sucks. I disagree. <laughs> oh, there's a sock. Cool. All right, let's go get that sock. <laughs> You're banned from America. All right. Well, there's that box. Um, it's the quickest way is gonna be just. Teleporting back up there. Oh, oh, oh. The box is gonna be on the other side, though. It'll just be quicker to go back up. This way. Yeah, I love barbecue. I like soul food. Like. Yeah, 
Yeah. I like it. It's just fun to play. All the air time. All the hang time. Hey, Larry, what's shaking? Sandy! Boy, am I glad to see you. I need your help. My TV reception has been terrible lately. I need to have someone replace my old antenna with this shiny new one. Yes, sir. That there antenna is shinier than a $3 bill. Well, why don't you replace it yourself? I'm not really much of a jumper. So, what's jumping got to do with it? Because the old antenna is up there. Woo! That's taller than a glass of Texas iced tea. The robots have blocked off that building, and I can't do all those fancy moves you and SpongeBob do to get across these gaps. All I can do is flex! Wanna see? Yeah, great. Uh, so what are you gonna do with the old antenna? Oh, that? It's yours if you replace it with a new one. Well, I have been getting bad TV reception in the tree dog. Okay, Larry, you got a deal. I guess you just gave me one. Sandy may cross large gaps by double jumping and holding a gap. Really? messing with Texas. <laughs> no! Hans, save me. That's your favorite robot enemy, the flying one. Better make good use of all these. Yeah, Sandy's moveset is really good. She can float. She can take out harder bad guys with one hit with a lasso. Trial fun. Welcome. 
Oh, I thought you were welcoming someone. You were just saying Hattie Haddington. <laughs> oh, Hattie Haddington. Everyone's best good friend. What happened to Hattie? Ew. Can't believe I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. Hey, why? You don't have to wear it. Just, just put it in your pocket. <laughs> Spongerware. Ow. The disadvantage of her is that, uh, like, the ground pound move is really versatile, but the class is a bit slower, so you tend to get hit a little easier. So, that's a good lesson. Do, 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 Welcome, Hattie Haddington. Welcome, Hattie. Cola. With the taste of seabed. Oh, no! 
<laughs> I let go too early. <laughs> not as good as Texas barbecue sauce, so just not good at all. Okay. <laughs> How dare you? <sighs> all right. Where's that other steering wheel? Did we get them both? We must have. Make sure. Ready, kids? Set, go! Just met the Sponginator. There it is. Ow! Ow! Pretty. Can't take it! Ouch! I feel like a new sponge. Fresh like a spring breeze. I know, the loading screens are so dull. It's like bubbles and then a foggy black screen. Just boring. All right, well, you can't travel back up. We have eight of 11 of these steering wheels. I guess we missed some, huh? Pretty sure there was one. On the route how many did Mrs. Puff need? All of them, probably. Yeah, the original screen. 
screen had the same thing but blue background Bringing instead of black. Around town. That would have, yeah, that would have been better. It would have made sense for the show. Fresh like a spring breeze. Bringing it around town. Larry? Oh, yeah. That's right. Alright, I guess we can make it back up there. Well, there's, um, there's the shortcut somewhere, right? There it is. There's the box. I can, I can finally, finally watch, watch those, those reruns of the Rockfish Rock Files. <laughs> You're welcome. I don't know how I've lived this long without good reception. Thank you again. You're very welcome. You're Larry welcome. That's a big pair of SpongeBob pants. too. I'm getting dizzy just watching. the path to one of the spatulas, but it could also lead us somewhere else. Oh no, it can still hurt you if it's on the ground. 
Good ratings. Okay, that's better. Time to return to Mrs. Puff. Let's do that. Do 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 Just said thank you. Ow, poo. Countless amount of toilet papers on the bikini bottom roofs. Oh no! I'm so sorry. That's not all. Hopefully, he recovers soon. So this part and just get lots of lots of experience. If it isn't Sandy Cheeks. Howdy, Mrs. Puff. Oh, well, okay. That's all that is. There's one. Up there. There's another one. Gotcha! Yeah, I think we 
found all the ones on the upper level, so let's not go back there. There's a sock! Oh! A prize in everyone! So this area, I guess, the Sea Needle? Maybe that's where we need to go. Let's try that. We haven't been there yet. Could be, but we did find that one in the entryway we totally missed earlier. Sandy. Top of the morning to you, Mr. Krabs. Another piece of paper. I guess it's gonna be SpongeBob and Sandy in this level. Ah, there you are, boy! Someone's broken the Sea Needle! That's horrible. The Sea Needle is the cradle of Crochet Corner! Yes, yes it is. But what's more important is that there are tiki's and shiny objects just outside the windows. Mr. Krabs, how can you think of money at a time like this? Easy. I just clear my mind. Money. 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 Now listen here, boy. You know that I'll give you golden spatulas if you bring me shiny objects. But I'm going to sweeten the deal. 
If you can break all the tiki's here at the Sea Needle, I'll give you a bonus golden spatula. Oh, why would I want to break the tiki's, Mr. Krabs? Uh, because they were laughing at you and calling you funny names. What kind of funny names? Um, you know, SpongeBob butt pants. That's not very funny. Uh, no, but they said your mom was ugly. Ugly? All right, Mr. Krabs, break them I shall. You've got a deal. <laughs> SpongeBob butt pants. like a bungee spot. Sponge butt bob pants. Ready for another fantastic <laughs> day! Tartar sauce! The horror! Yes! Come on! Alright, Sandy. I think I'm gonna need you to help me with this. <laughs> <laughs> You're ugly, and so is your mother. <laughs> oh. Oh. Suddenly that. Arr, what the experience! Ow! Ah, okay. So you gotta avoid them. <laughs> Feel like a new sponge. I'm trying to get through this one more time. No, never mind. I'm used to Sandy's controls now. She doesn't have a ground pound, so if I mess up like that, it doesn't uh, mean instant death. All right, yeah, I'm switching to Sandy. Uh, it honestly, shines. I probably shouldn't though. Because if, if all the doors have these switches, I can't open them with Sandy. So. I'm not afraid of heights. I'm not afraid of heights. I'm not afraid of heights. There we go. No wonder they have so many checkpoints in this area of the platform. Somehow I don't think he needs a hand. Yes. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. I guess we need to kill these tiki's too. All right, that's probably the. Boy. did get him. Good. Alright, last one. Boing! Yes! Uh, did we miss one? Yeah. Is that all? Of 
Maybe. Let's check the right as well. Probably get a new bungee board here. Yeah. So I think they only started appearing after Mr. Krabs gave us the mission. Golden spatula, like I promised. <laughs> they took time to model his butt cheeks. Attention to detail. <laughs> all right, cool. We got all of the golden steering wheels. Let's give those to Mrs. Puck. Bob, <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed. impressed. How, How did, did you, you fight? fight? Well, there were these robots. I met Sandy, and the lighthouse was... Okay, okay. Sorry I asked. Here's the golden spatula that I promised you. Thanks, Mrs. Tuff. Now I'll help you guys evacuate. But SpongeBob, you don't have a driver's license. Oh, don't I? No, no you don't. Well, if I don't, then what's <laughs> this? <laughs> That's a library card. A library card. Oh. Oh. All right, done with this area. Cool. <laughs> Mr. Crab said we could buy some specials off of him, right? Maybe from here. Do you, you want, want to trade shiny objects, objects for a golden spatula? Sure. That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again! Alright. you, Mr. Jellyfish. Don't forget to defeat Ro- Alright, All right, so we have enough to go to both of these areas. Also, Patrick, we got socks. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's your golden back scratcher. Spatula. I don't speak Italian. <laughs> All right. The goo lagoon. All right. Oh no. Sorry, I went out of bounds instead of pressing the right button. I don't speak Italian. <laughs> That's a pan, without a doubt. Ah, the goo lagoon. Ah, goo lagoon. <laughs> yes, the sun-drenched totally beach of sludge at the bottom of the sea. But all is not well here on paradise. Yes. <laughs> it just felt like the right way to say it. You have to you have to say ah. <laughs> it shines. <laughs> he 
can use the bubble bash to move things. Stand under the platform and press X to do the to flip it over. <laughs> yeah, we get some awesome circles. Awesome. I'm gonna use the restroom. Uh, get back in just a sec. This robot is called Monsoon. Watch out for its lightning attack. Hmm. Yeah. Hey, 
Larry. SpongeBob, do I look burned? Well, you do look a little red. Barnacles! That darn robot. Robot? Yeah, a big robot stole oh. everybody's sunscreen. Interesting, I want to see this. Apparently my soda blends in with the green screen. Ah! <laughs> That's funny. I'm drinking invisible soda. Now it's LaCroix. Uh, I can actually read that part of it. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a, what flavor is it? It's key lime flavored. Kind of tastes like Skittles. Not, not the hugest fan of it, but I wanted to give it a try. But that's neat. <laughs> Chroma soda! So light in calories, it's even invisible. <laughs> oh no! Everyone will burn! And then they'll get all itchy and peel. Exactly! You can't spend a day at the beach without sunscreen. That sun is way too hot. That robot is out on the island. Nobody can get to him. Ghost Cola. <laughs> SpongeBob, maybe you can SpongeBob. use those sun reflectors to point the sun's rays on that robot. If you hit one of the buttons on the side of a lifeguard tower, the reflector will turn. Connect all the towers and the light will shoot right out of the big reflector on the island. Then all you have to do is swim out to the island and turn the big reflector onto the robot. I'll stay here <laughs> and protect the babes. But I, uh, can't swim. We'll figure it out. What, what were those? Oh, they're clams. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> clams, the birds of the sea. Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. <laughs> Ham. Bye. Get it. Cha ching. Juice bar. Oh no. The children's balloons have been overfilled. They're carrying the children out of control. I don't know, Mrs. Puff. It looks like they're having a lot of fun. Yes, too much fun, if you ask me. You can save the children by bubble bashing each of the balloons. Bubble bash all the balloons, then come see me for a reward. Can do, Mrs. Puff. Now, time to end your fun, Johnny. Sorry. Oh, he just wanted to have a good time. Why are you making me make them stop? <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, poor little guy. He's just having a good old boy time. Alright, Billy, your turn. Sally, you're next. Oh! It's gonna be Sally. Oh no! Oh, just rain, rain, too go low. away! Ow! Alright, I'm gonna find that Hey, Sally. Oh no!
Is that all of them? Nope, there's two. There's two of them. Fresh like a spring breeze. Alright, let's keep getting them. And slaps. I feel like a new sponge. My hero! You've saved the children! <laughs> Here's a golden spatula as a reward! Aren't you, robot? You can get to the other island from the pier on the other side of the sea cave. Can we talk to Larry? Oh, okay. Um, I've been streaming for about three hours. I feel like a new sponge. Two forty-five. No one nothing going. Take that! Appreciate the Chinese. There it is. Stop. Oh, 
I'm suddenly really quiet. What? Am I? I didn't touch anything. Oh. Hello. Ooh, wooden presents. Uh, I don't know. Uh, weird. I'm hesitant to touch my volume, but I'm gonna try it. Uh, does that help at all? got loud? I don't know, maybe. There. In that case, there, I'll turn down the game volume. Maybe I distance myself from the mic without noticing. No, I'm still at the same distance as I usually am. It's really weird, though. I don't know! That's as, that's as high as I can make my mic go right now without going into, um, w without potentially messing with the pitch by changing the actual, like, uh, mic volume. Alright. Cool. How long has it been that way? Like maybe it's since I came back from the bathroom or something. Alright, let's go with this, which is with the melons. That's really weird. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know why that happened. Hmm. Well, this is good now. There you go. You sure gotta carry a lot of stuff around. I need to carry that. Oh, fun. Oh yeah, I'll jump on the guy's stomach in a bit, but I'm gonna go this way first. What? Whoa! 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 No! <laughs> Dang it! For all that. So bright, so shiny. All right, now I'll jump on him. There we go. Perfect. Ah, oh, it's a shortcut box I missed. Decently difficult one. This time. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> yes, I oh, saw been lonely out there all alone. There you go. Alright, so alright, I'm gonna talk to Larry again. Yes. Okay, so we moved that light or something? You know, we should talk about personal gym training sometime. 
I thought the gym was already trained. Huh. Guess we have to have SpongeBob for that part. Do 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 do. If you hit one of the buttons on the side of a lifeguard tower, the reflector will turn. Connect all the towers. When the light is... Okay. Well, maybe not this one then. Maybe it depends on... Okay. I see now. <laughs> I love that they're birds. That's funny. It's funny to me. Let's try this one now. That way. That's it. That's the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. La. There's a safe up there. Oh, that's one of those, uh buttons that Patrick hits. said, you can get to the island from the pier on the other side of the sea caves. Cool. Alright, we're done with that part then. Let's move on to the sea caves. Whoa! Pillars in the sand. I don't understand. Just met the Sponginator. <laughs> dragos. Speaking of dragos, after we after we finish this game, the next game on my docket is the uh, uh, Spyro trilogy, the remastered one. What's it called again? I forget the name, but yeah. Patty. Good old Hattie. The Reignited Trilogy? I think that's what it's called. Yeah, so that'll be fun. So it'll be the first time I've played a Spyro game. Yeah. Yeah, a couple, it's it's funny because uh, I mentioned that to Alex like a week ago. He's like, hey, this is what I'm planning to do for my next few streams or my next few games and uh like a day later one or two days later steam had both spyro and the crash trilogy on sale for like half off so i was like well okay time that's a good little blessing isn't it might as well pick them up also never played through a crash game so that'll be something to do at some point too Sandcastle Contest. SpongeBob, I heard that you were collecting golden spatulas. Spatulas. Yes, buddy, I am. Have you seen one? Why, yes. We were having a sandcastle contest, and somebody put a golden spatula on the top. 
<laughs> Neato. If I had a castle, I'd name it Fort Patty Town the Third, and Fort Patty Town the Third would have a big bake sale every Monday. Um, the golden spatula? Oh, at the top of the sand castle, right? That should be easy to reach. Well, perhaps you should see for yourself. Yeah, I ended up getting it on Steam, uh, rather than the Switch. So the Joy-Con drift won't be a, hopefully won't be an issue there. Sand castles in the sand. <laughs> Water rising must get to higher ground. Ground. Oh. Uh oh. No. Toss. I used the wrong button again. Hit the butt bounce button instead of um instead of the bubble wand. Oh ho 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 ho. The floor is water! <laughs> Thunderhead. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Kind of shortcutted it. Oh no! I get it. I want that sock. How to get that sock? Get out of here. There will be a way. Okay. Oh, the water went back down. Okay, then. I'm confused about this spot. Oh. Oh, we go along the edge. Neat. Time for a little sleepy sneak. We're on a big sandcastle. That's neat. I didn't even notice. It shines. to the checkpoint. way to get up there is hmm. probably just waiting for some of the water to rise because hmm. that thing with the floaties down there might just keep rising with it 
Either way, I'll have to pass for now. Sock. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. Yeah. Uh -oh. Get on the way! Huh? I love opening presents. Do 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 Gary, what's new? Meow, meow. You don't say. Squidward bought a new sweater. Oh, he's so crazy. Meow. And there's a golden spatula at the end of this cave. Oh, skip past the wow. My bad. Wow. Ah, oh, the water's rising here too. Fresh like a spring breeze. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I, I can't do it! Okay. That counted. That counted! <laughs> ah! Oh, boy. Yes! Yes! Oh no! Barnacles! Well, I just hit a checkpoint. There's a caveman SpongeBob on that wall. SpongeBob! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go SpongeBob! Go SpongeBob! Take that! There he is. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, okay. It just goes up and down here. Okay. Wonderful. <laughs> SpongeBob cave pants. Sponge cave no pants. <laughs> There's Patrick Caveman too. Cave pat. Box and a spatula. Spatula. You're supposed to admire the caveman SpongeBob until something happens. All right, I'll do that. Does he say something? SpongeBob say something about it. Uh oh. Instead of the bubble spin. No. Nope. Ah well, something I gotta get used to. Oh, you were joking? Okay. I don't know. I never played this. And I won't do it. Yeah. 
Here, I'll, I'll go back and show you. The caveman SpongeBob on the wall. Right there. <laughs> Oh, I can't go that way. I have to go around. Oh well, I guess we're gonna see it up close again. But that's okay because we found the sock. So let's grab that and then turn back around. It's was that SpongeBob hey, mean pants? Needs to do laundry. There's another one right there. How do we get to it? Maybe we wait for this buoy to go down and jump on top of it and then try to make it over. shadows, even though they don't always show up. See? Yeah, it shows up after I land on the thing. It's not a helpful game. If you're gonna have platforming, have the shadows be consistent so you can target where you're gonna land. I love opening presents. Ouch! Ouch! Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. Get him! Out of the cave. Nope. You've just met the Spongeinator. Cool. A little bit of backtracking got us two socks. It shines. I feel like a new sponge. Spongegar and Paytar. <laughs> Patgar, rather. Spongegar and Patgar. That's funny. Patgar. Spongegar and Patgar. I'm getting mixed messages. Either way. Patgar. Alright. P-A-T-T-A-R. Thank you. says to Patrick. Sorry, lad, but the carnival is closed. A pesky robot has taken over me ticket booth. And worse, me money. If you help me get rid of that no good robot, I'll give you a big reward. Ah! 
SpongeBob. Help me find Patrick. I have a task that I think he can help me with. All right. Let's do that. Oh, Mr. Pose. Oh, Mr. Pose. How many of these do I have to carry? Oh. Oh. Ah! SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Exactly what I had in mind. I hope my insurance covers all this. Why don't you try something less expensive? Or, I, I mean, dangerous. I need them crazy robots cleared out of the bumper boats. When you've destroyed them all, come back and see me. Mm. Ooh, again, again! I have the best Ooh, bumper of all. Ooh, never really? won. Doesn't look like anything. No socks or anything down here. Just some greenies. I guess I'll take those. Yeah, I'll just hang out down here and get them all. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> the carnival's definitely closed. Ah! Whack a tiki. Technically, I'm cheating. <laughs> that count? Did I win? Did I win? I think I killed them all. Oh, never mind. Wakatiki, win a sock. Ooh, another one. Ooh. Um, I will crush them. You have all the socks. You have ten socks now, Patrick. Just pull out a golden spatula, right? Isn't that how it should work? Teacups. Undie cups. Oh, I feel like I'm going nowhere. That's much better. Right, where's that? Uh, oh, there's one. Okay. Er SpongeBob, stop this crazy thing! <laughs> mm -mm. No, no. 
Start up there. Get it. So I don't. I don't know. Maybe I can. There's still some. Give me. What? Okay. It must be a bungee thing. Got to be a bungee thing. <laughs> SpongeBob needs the bubble bowl power to play ski ball. I, when do I get this? I want the power. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Hmm. Woo! Up we go! Uh. You missed. That one looks mighty gold. Oh, I see you guys now. Give me that. Oh, never mind. Oh. Ow! You stink. You little joke. No, 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 no. Whoa! Throw it. Yes! Got it! <laughs> that was a close one. Hey, this is mine! I always wanted to be a figure skater. Okay, gotcha. There's an icy breeze down there. Freezy fruit. There we go. Maybe that has something to do with that. This is gonna be the bungee. Yep, there it is. It's only for SpongeBob, though. Oh! Sauce. <sighs> this Patrick doesn't wear undies. He doesn't have anything elastic to for it to grab onto. Hey, my 
My back feels better. Yeah. Ouch! Ouch! Oh, come on. Oh! Uh, well, okay. They're just obstacles, not enemies. Bumper boats. Mm. Mm. Do, 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 oh. Do, 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 oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh, I forget. <laughs> there we go. Bumper bolts cleared. Yes. Okay. There's our way back to Mr. Krabs, I think. Here is your reward! Thank you! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Woohoo! Take us over to that other uh, lighthouse thing. Use the Patrick Teeter Totter to go to the island in Goo Lagoon Beach. Uh, but there's also the Freezy. Yeah, let's do that first. Ouch! For me, and it's bad for you. Rehydrated. Go, go, go! Go for the goo. Whoa! Oh, pretty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> doo -doo 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 -doo. Hello. <laughs> yes, those sound effects were appropriate here. Weird. Robot. Well, I guess any place with robots. Are good. We did your thing. Congratulations, SpongeBob! You're king of the beach! Here, have a golden spatula! Mm hmm. Oh, yes. Ooh. All right, I guess that's it for this place. Teeny tiny puddle of water. He saved the world, then tripped on a rock and died on his way home. Bob 
boss time. Because, like, where where's the boss then? In Goo Lagoon or back back in the hub? Because I don't see a boss in Goo Lagoon. Thanks for your help. See no box. Yeah. Oh. Get out of here. This area. I guess I'm going here. All this left. Oh. oh boy. I have brought you to here to face a great challenge. I've got nerves of steel and muscles of sand. And eyes of jelly. My uh, Poseidon has been bleached by a mighty foe whom you must vanquish. Bring it on, your highness! Bring it on! In this corner, defending the Poseidon, a small square guy! A small square guy! And his challenger! A huge murderous <laughs> robot shaped like a squirrel! Oh, it's a giraffe! Left itself vulnerable. Okay. Fresh like a spring breeze. Oh, I see. Great barrier reef. Okay. Ow! Ah, what? I was way away from you. I feel like a new sponge. SpongeBob has an opening, but will he get the drop on the robot? Just now did. the robot's taking a beating out there. I just did. Looks like the robots left itself vulnerable. Ooh. I wanna play, I wanna play! And if we're not playing, we're fighting for our lives! I wanna play, I wanna play! Oh, alright. Alright. Bouncing through the head. The old clothesline move! Cannonballs! Looks like Patrick has a big opportunity here! What a shocking <laughs> takedown by Patrick! Come on. Double jump. Wait, is a whistle. Looks like Patrick has a big opportunity here. There we go. Oh, yes. Nice flying uh, head thing move by Patrick. <laughs> I 
Whoa! Looks like Patrick has a big opportunity here! Wow! I've never seen such an electrifying match! Your turn, SpongeBob! Oh? Ah. Wee! Ah, wee! Come on, Sandy Bot. Spring! The old clothesline move! Oh, poo. Just a single jump. Fresh like a spring breeze. SpongeBob, this match is just about over. <laughs> nice move by SpongeBob. There we go. Woohoo! You going that down? Robot is down and staying down. What an upset here at the Poseidon! Was quite a battle. Tell him what he's won, Johnny. It's a new power, the Bubble Bowl. There we go. Wait, awesome. There's more. A golden spatula. And that's not all. A gift certificate for $5.32 to Dean's Little Shop of Dried Fish Flakes and Flowers. <laughs> Poster. Oh, thank you. It all means so much. I. I. <sighs> I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Cry all you want, but not here. We just wax the floors. <laughs> well, fantastic. We did it. I got the bubble bowl. But not here. We just wax the floors. Hey, Plankton. Yes, what is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. <laughs> SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. Exactly. And as your non-friend, I worry about you. <laughs> like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way, you won't hurt yourself. And you can just keep working on getting me into the chum bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. <laughs> yeah, right. Sandy should have been part of that fight against her robot self. She seems so sidelined for this whole game. It shines. Figure out how to use the bubble bowl. Do I do this? Oh, I, I think it's a contextual skill. Let me teach you how to bowl oh, a bubble. Well, I... Press this button, and you'll bowl a bubble that can knock down robots from a safe distance. Oh yay! Wow! Remember though, the bubble bowl only works on things that are close to the ground. Got it. All right, let's try try this. Whoa! Cool. Projectiles. Cool. So you hold longer, they go a little faster. Neat. Kabam! <laughs> Fun. All right. Well, we're to the next hub. So I'm going to call it here for the day. That's a good place to end it. I think. Sandy's house. Ooh. Cool. The tree dome. Uh, well, I, I want to go visit Sandy's house first because I don't think it's an actual like 
big level. It's just her housey house. Daddy, your tree dome is leaking! <laughs> Them there robots busted up the glass, SpongeBob! I got a tree house chock full of robots and it's all your fault, so get in there and clean up your mess. Okay, well, let's help Sandy out first. That that's only fair. Are you ready, kids? Let's go. The bubble bowl. Bola lava. Hey, yeah. Water would be nice. <laughs> He's all dried up. Ouch! Uh oh, that did not work well. well let's try this again. Yapping and let's get robot trapping. Yeah, how is it SpongeBob's fault? <laughs> he didn't do this. These are Plankton's robots. Get out of here. Like a new sponge, just my size. All right, you. We got to go. Is that all? Nope. Oh. Yes. All righty then. That's much better. I suppose you'll be needing this more than me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> My nightmares will have a new friend tonight. I wonder if I can get on this hamster wheel. Oh no, sad. Oh well. Hey, he should be wearing a ball over his head. Hey, Patrick. I would assume Patrick would be in this new hub as well. In which case, we should probably give him his socks. I wonder if Mr. Krabs functions like um, the shops in Super Mario Odyssey where you can just keep buying infinite moons. I wonder if, like, Mr. Krabs has a limit to how many spatulas he sells. Uh, there's Mr. Krabs. Where's Patrick? Patty. I mean, he was by Sandy's house, so maybe that's where he is. Roll, roll, roll the sponge. No, he's not. Oh, okay. So this just opens up. Neat. Awesome. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's your golden back scratcher. Spatula. I don't speak Italian. All right. Cool. This is going to be it for today. Thank you all for watching. We'll pick this back up tomorrow. And, yeah. Continue the adventure from here. I got, feel like we covered a good bit of distance. First little set of worlds. All right, everybody. Do we need to save, or is it all auto-saved? I'm just gonna... Yeah, it's auto-saved. All right, we're good. All right, I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye, everyone.